Hi guys, I'm Jordan from Norwich Camping and Leisure and I'm beside something very exciting for the 2023 season. This is a brand new brand called Telta um, and they've got a brand new range of caravan awnings. Um, so they have innovated the camping industry uh, for a few number of years. Um, they've got a lot of background and history in the camping market and um, just they always keep seeming to innovate and create new products and new designs using the right different and better materials and um, yeah like raising the bar every time. Um, so what we have here is the Life 330 awning. So in the Life range they have the 330 which is this one and a 390. So that is the width of the awning. Okay so this one's 330. The Life range is 275 deep so from your caravan to this point here is 275. So that is the, the width and the, and the depth of your awning. So if you put these awnings up, they go through your caravan rail or motorhome rail, feed it in the rail, peg your back corners tight to your caravan, you pump it up from here, okay, so it's one point inflation, so you pump it up from there and then you can deflate it from the leg valves and there to get all the air out if you wanted to, well, when you, when you come to taking it down. Um, so it does include the, uh, the hand pump as well. So you're good to go, obviously, when you, when you get this out of the bag, you can pump it up and it comes with a draft skirt as well, which just covers up your wheels and uh, stops the draft coming from underneath the caravan. Um, so with these awnings and why they're so sort of special and what they've innovated really well is a more breathable fabric. Um, so this fabric is more like a poly cotton, so it's more breathable, more durable, um, it's more UV resistant and it's got a better colour fastness as well to hold its colour. And it's, it's just overall, you know, a lot, you know, if you get a chance to feel this awning uh, in our shop, then it's, you know, you'll do, you will notice the di difference and feel to it. Um, so on here, we've got the canopy, which is a nice little feature. So that's got the air tubes that come through the awning and that just gives you a bit of shelter over your front window. You've got doors on either side. So you've got a door that you can roll back to here and the same on that side. And then you've got two big panels here. So you can actually, these panels are like as big as, as you can see really, because they join with each other in the middle and have it as like one big door. Um, or you can completely take the whole thing out and use it as like a big canopy area. So lots of uh, options of using it and allowing for you know, different times of the year when it's hot, sunny uh, and cold and that. You've got all nice little zips, got mesh panels at the top there just to allow for a little bit more airflow, just to help, to help re reduce condensation. So getting the, you know, the um, drop in the temperature inside. Um, so as we go around the awning now, we've got a nice PVC mud wall along the bottom. So that's easy to wipe down and keep clean. On the side doors here, we've got this door here. That's also got a mesh panel on it. So you, once you open that door, you can actually close it with a mesh panel. So if you've got any dogs in here, you can obviously keep your dogs in, uh, but also allows for lots of airflow as well. So there's a lot of new features inside the awning as well. Um, the sort of one point inflation side of it is very similar to a lot on the market where it's got taps that connects each beam um, and you can isolate them with the on and off tap if you wanted to. These beams are like these do just velcro in and out but they're quite nice how they're velcroed around the beam so they're like really strong and secure. Um, and as you can probably notice uh, if you have looked at other awnings, there's no big sleeve covering, covering these awnings, like a bag that goes over the top of these to keep them in place. Instead, you've just got these little Velcro clips. These don't tend to move too much anyway, so just having the odd couple of clips there does help it, just holding it in position, but it, does, it looks a lot more nicer, nicer sleeker you know, finish to it. Um, these are obviously really well built, this material here, because this is where your air tube is inside here. So this is built nice and strong as well. So that's going to keep, you know, we've got a lot of pressure in here. As you can see, I'm trying to push that. There's a lot of pressure in there, um, but that's obviously well built to keep that pressure in. Um, we obviously mentioned outside, we've got the airflow uh, and the ventilation at the top. Uh, we've got our curtains. These are a nice feel as well. Probably can put those in the wash as well if they get dirty. So they're like a cotton material. Um, you can slide them across. They've actually got little clips on the end as well just on there, just a hook on the end. Again, this is a pre-production sample, so there might be a few little features that change from here 
to uh, the actual production, but they're kind of obviously going to get better, I'm sure. Um, so yeah, that's a nice little sort of feature just to keep them tidy and, and tight to the windows. But they're also they're a nice feel, you know, nice cotton feel on those. Um, just inside here is a little clip. So if you want to put a veranda bar in there, um, that just slots in there, slots on the other side. You can drop the window over that bar, um, or you can just use that bar to hang a towel or coat on as such. Um, obviously PVC sort of mud skirt sort of comes underneath a little bit all the way around at the bottom here. If you bought the carpet that would sit on top of that so you wouldn't necessarily see that but that, that obviously just keeps it nice and, uh, nice and square. So when you're pegging it and pulling it tight at the corners that all, that all keeps it nice and tight. Um, you know obviously we probably could have got this a bit tighter but we've pegged it quite quickly for the video. Um, there's little toggles in here and little clips all around. So you can hang a roof liner in here. So you might have seen from outside as well, um, but in here as well, we've got a slightly tinted window, which is quite a nice feel to it. Um, so that'll obviously, you know, won't let as much light in, um, but, you know, but it obviously it's nice to have that sort of tint on it. Um, so this, this panel here, these completely zip out on the sides. So either that side or this side, completely zip out. As you can see, this is a lot bigger, a lot squarer. Um, and taller than you know the normal sort of panels in other awnings. So when you put that annex on there, it is a really good size annex. Uh, the annex does come with a, a bedroom inner as well, so you can use it as a sleeping annex straight away, or you can take the inner straight out and just use it as a, an extension or a garage, uh, just a bigger bigger area for your um, for your for your camping trip. This has got a zip inside that zip as well. So this goes from 235 to 285. So as we have it here, it's made for caravans. You can then unzip that to go up to either taller caravans or to taller motorhomes. And then there's a zip inside that, which you can then lift the roof again to get up to 285 in the motorhome range. So one awning fits caravan and motorhome really nicely. Um, so yeah, this is the brand new awning of, from Telta. Um, definitely a name to look out for in the coming years. This is the Life uh, model. Um, they've got different models as well like the Pure, so check out our website and our YouTube channel for more videos um, and all the other models available or obviously pop in store, um, hopefully when we have these available and come and see them on display. Thanks for watching this video.